and welcome to the kitchen. Today we're going to make puff pastry. You know, at every show, everybody asks me for perfect puff pastry. Our pastry flour, the most wonderful flour, so versatile. I went into the kitchen and I have perfected for you the best puff pastry. So let's start to show you how good it is, our perfect puff pastry. Let's start to look at our ingredients. 500 grams of flour, 15 grams of whole egg powder, 50 grams of butter, 25 grams of pastry flour, 300 grams of cold butter, 1 tablespoon of vinegar, and 350 ml of cold water. Now, one thing is very important about the is the water and butter coming out of the fridge and another professional trick especially for Queensland or Western Australia having the flour in the fridge so you get a whole good consistency in the pastry when you start it okay let's start it we're going to put the flour inside what I'm going to do I'm going to put the egg powder but I'm going also to sift it and the reason I don't want to get lumps, you see, beautiful. Mix it nicely. And then I'm going to put the butter. I'm going to rub the butter old fashioned way nicely. As I said, very, very important for all the element to be cold. When it's cold, the press is more firm and you hold the butter inside. So now after finishing rubbing everything in, I'm going to mix the vinegar with the water and put inside. Let the flour to absorb the mixture of the water and vinegar. Just mix nicely. Beautiful. At that stage, you use old-fashioned hands, you see, use your hand, the dough nice and cold, you can see the dough coming together nicely, and put the dough on the table. And continue to knead the dough. You're going to see a beautiful, elastic, and clear dough. The rest of the flour, the rest of the dough, we're going to get all, all in together. Just, just join all of it together and knead well. You really need about two minutes having a good cold elastic dough. Now you start to use just a tiny bit of flour from your wonderful flour and our pastry and we're going to make cut of run because we're going to open it on four. Now we're going to take the butter, the 300 gram of cold butter. I'm going to put it in a bowl. I want to be able to work with it. And I put my flour inside, the 25 gram of flour, and really crush the butter. And allow all the flour to go into the butter and have a square elastic butter. You want that to be elastic, and you don't want lumps of butter that stays inside. You want the really, really the butter to be nice and elastic. Now. At that stage, we need the butter, you see, all the butter that's in my hand goes into the butter. Now, if that butter is too soft, please put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes to get harder and firm. You know, you want the butter to be firm. The pastry flour has been made, we have the butter in a cube from here. We're going to start to do what we call half turns. Now, one of the tips I have for you, if you decided to do a puff pastry the next day, you're going to put the pastry flour after two half turns, and next day when you take it out, 
you do another two half turn. Now, at this stage, I'm very, very sensitive and gentle about the flour because excess flour, we need to take it out of the pastry, is going to disturb the raising of the pot paste out. So I'm going to make nice four corner. And I'm going also to show you a few tricks about the corner. So let's do that way. I'm going to move, put enough flour on the table, not to allow the, the pastry to stick on the table. You see a big bump here. This is a center where you usually have a pressure on the door where the butter is going to leak out. I'm going to put the butter inside nicely. We're going to put the pasta in and look at that. I'm going to take all the excess flour out. I'm going to do another one and excess flour out. Excess flour up and another one. This is what we call the envelope situation. It's all in as an envelope. And now I don't use my roller. I'm just pushed by hand. I don't want to stress the door. I'm, I'm really, really doing gently the door. After I put and joined everything together, I have nice square. I push the door to spread to all the corner and fill in. And look what I do with the roller. Really, really gently. I'm a very, very gently with my flower. Look at that. I'm pushing the door to the corners. I'm trying to keep the door nice and square every time I do it. And again, all the time. And I start to fold the dough, what we call half turn. I like in gluten free flour. Some people call it professional, people call it book fold. I like in gluten free to do only half turn because there is no gluten to hold the butter in the middle. So I do always half turn in gluten free. Straight away, don't put it in the fridge. I'm going into my second roller straight away. Now, and I turn the pastry. I open it enough, I turn the pastry to go the butter other way. Okay, again, nice and neat. That's it, finished. I clean out, I wrap it with a glove wrap or plastic bag, and I'm going to put it in the fridge. Ready, goes to the fridge. We took the pastry out of the fridge, cold, firm, nice, easy to work with. I open it, I have nice dough. I took the excess of flour before I put it in the fridge. Why? The paste is going to get dry, it's nice and moist, very easy to work. For the first time when I take it out of the fridge, the, the, uh, the butter inside gets a bit harder. So what I do, I force my hand, I push it nicely, and very gently. The dough will listen to me, the dough will work with me, and we do it very gently. We really, really have to be careful not to stress the butter to get out. Now, I have to fill in the bottom so the dough doesn't stick underneath because if it sticks, it starts to peel off. Again, brushing out all the flour. Folding again. Brushing the flour out is very, very important. And I turn, I open it a little bit. At that second, we finish to roll it to the side. Remember, please, do not make the dough too big. You're going to press the butter too much and we'll go through the pastry, through the dough. Now, again, I'm cleaning out the excess flour and again, half fold. And voila, that's it. Now, if the dough, you see that the dough is too soft, again, just put it for 10, 20 minutes 
into the bridge to get firm again, we came to the end of our show. I made before some flaky puff pastry, the best of the best. There is no limitation what you can do in your uh, kitchen. I'm expecting to get some email from you. Let me know what you do. Cheese pocket, vegetable, samosas, anything that you can dream of. I'm going to show you there is no limitation with well and good. Anything that you can dream of. Till the next show, have a great day.